Greetings citizens of the world. The mysterious murder of DNC staffer Seth Rich just got a lot more mysterious with the release of a new report that utterly debunks the official version of how the man died last summer. Since Rich's death when he was shot walking home in Washington, D.C., on July 10 of 2016, many have suggested something more sinister occurred than a simple robbery gone bad. Conspiracy theorists on the right suggested Rich, a DNC staffer, was behind a WikiLeaks publication of a drove of DNC emails less than two weeks after his murder, Newsweek reported. According to a new investigative study released Tuesday, Rich may have been killed by a hired killer or serial killer. It took a group of volunteer students and graduates from George Washington University to dig into this unsolved case, despite unanswered petitions asking the government to appoint a special investigation into Rich's murder. These forensic psychology students and instructors made up the group known as the Profiling Project. Seth's death does not appear to be a random homicide, the report stated in its summary of findings. Contrary to the police reports claiming that Rich's death was a robbery gone awry, the report stated that Seth's death does not appear to be a robbery gone bad and was more likely committed by a hired killer or serial murderer. As others have noted, most robberies don't end in murder and most robberies do end with stolen goods. Rich still had all his valuables on his person. The Arlington, Virginia-based profiling project said the offender brought a most likely unregistered firearm to the crime scene, utilized the firearm and most likely carried the firearm away from the crime scene with them post-commission. The report characterizes this as bold behavior in D.C., which has some of the strictest gun laws in the country. The facts of the case as studied by the volunteers points to a killer who was well aware of these laws, and was comfortable in breaking them. The killer was able to successfully elude police after the deed, indicating, the, offender had either previously killed, or a significant amount of preparation had gone into planning for this kill, the report found. Additionally, like a scene out of ABC's scandal, the crime scene appeared to be almost sanitized. No firearms casings were reported to be found, no physical evidence was reported. They concluded the killer did not appear to be psychotic, but rather methodical in the execution of the crime and in fleeing and remaining unidentified by law enforcement officials. Rich's family was reportedly not contacted to assist with the project's investigation, in order to give a fair and unbiased review of the case. Brad Bauman, the spokesperson for the Rich family, made a statement following the revelation saying. The Rich family was not provided a copy of the preliminary report, never saw the report or was otherwise consulted in the preparation of the report. I received the report a half an hour before it was made public thus depriving myself, the family or the family's lawyers any reasonable time, to, review it. As noted, by the report's methodology, the profiling project was given no special access to any materials evidence or persons and due to case sensitivity, conducted only informal, limited interviews. Given that fact, the family hopes that the general public takes the findings at face value. Kevin Doherty, a member of the Profiling Project spoke to the suggested that Rich was murdered by a professional killer, saying if he was murderer by a professional assassin, they failed. Nothing we've seen supports, the theory of, an assassin. A professional killer whose sole job would have been to terminate Seth, did not accomplish their mission prior to escaping, Doherty said, referencing the fact that Rich did not die at the crime scene. Despite what Doherty said, it seems unlikely that a serial killer just happened to hit the one guy in D.C. who was party to a bunch of secrets and possibly leaked to WikiLeaks in the middle of an election. One thing is clear, this case is nowhere near closed.